Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. But yeah, my name is Major Slack. Thanks for joining me again. And in today's Wolfenstein 2 video, I'm going to show you how to farm perks. What's perk farming, Slack? Perk farming is... Okay, first of all, here we are right at the very beginning of the game. Okay, we just finished the opening cutscene and we haven't even got any weapons yet. We're still in the wheelchair. And this guy's about to give us our first weapon, the SMG. Okay, you're familiar with this part of the game. And yet, if we look at my perks, I've already got five perks maxed out. I've got stealth takedowns maxed out. I've got quick commander kill maxed out. I've got overcharged kill maxed out. I've got grenades maxed out. And I've got environmental kills maxed out. And I have all those bonus that, bonuses that come with having those perks maxed out avail available to me right now. How did you do this, Slack? I'll tell you how I do this. Um, first of all, I'll explain to you how perk progression works in the game. Let's just exit the game to the main menu. Okay, exit to the main menu. Now, if you press this button here, whatever that is for you, for me it's R, progression slot, press that button, and you get all the available game slots for progression slots, as they call them, available to you. Your perk progress is saved to that particular slot. It's not saved to a particular save. It's saved to that particular slot. Okay, so let's go into this slot here. Load up a save, load up the save that I just loaded up, but it's very right at the very beginning. right back where we were. If we go into this and see the saves, all these saves are in the same progression slot. Any save that I load up in this progression slot will have the same per progression. Let's load up this one. Okay, it'll be a little later in the in the same mission. There we go. And we're much deeper in the game. Well, deeper in the same mission. And load up my perks. And I had the same perk progression. Okay, that's the way it works in this game. So, you see what you can do here? Yeah, what you could do is just do a save right in front of a convenient spot. Let's say you want to work on stealth kills, okay? You want to work on maxing out stealth takedowns to get increased, to get the bonus that goes along with this increased movement speed and crouch by 50%. It's 10% per level, okay? So all you have to do is just park yourself right in front of a guy that you're ready to do a stealth takedown on, do a save, Go do a stealth takedown on him, reload that save, go do a stealth takedown on him again, reload that save, go do a stealth takedown on him again. And that's how you farm perks. Okay, you can quickly max out any perk you like by setting your up setting yourself up in a convenient spot to quickly do some kills according to what's required for that perk. Alright, so I'm gonna show you how to farm um, those five perks and two more. I also wanna do heavy weapons and one of the best perks for stealthing. This one here, thrown hatchet kills. Because having a lot of hatchets is very convenient for stealthing, okay? Let's get to it. Okay, here we are with a fresh start right at the very beginning of the game. Once again, I started a new progression slot. And let's check out our perks. Everything is at zero, okay? We're gonna set ourselves up for an overcharged kill slash environment kills run. And something I forgot to mention, when you do a kill, um, the perk that you earn is not exclusive to that perk. You can actually earn double or triple bonuses. Uh, for example, let's say you do a headshot kill while you're overcharged. You get credit for both those. And like, let's say, for example, you kill a commander uh, with a headshot while overcharged. You get credit for everything. See what I mean? So yeah, you can like, you know, organize your perk runs so that you're doing like two or three perk runs at the same time, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna work on primarily an overcharged kill run, and a byproduct of that is we're gonna get a lot of environment, environmental kills as well, okay? So here's how to do an overcharged kill run right at the very beginning of the game, right? First of all, let's roll it down to easy, okay? I usually play on I Am Death Incarnate. I've been playing on I Am Death Incarnate exclusively for the past couple of weeks. But let's roll it down to easy, okay? We're not trying to prove a point here. I won't tell if you won't tell, okay? Why make it hard on yourself? You're just farming perks, all right? Go up, hit this guy, get your SMG. It's you. Take this. They're looking for you. Oh, shit. Here they come. Okay, now what we want to go do is go out there and just kill the first three guys, okay? And try not to lose any health. This is 
valuable now, Nazi. You ain't getting it back. Yeah, just pop out, shoot that guy, reload. A guy always comes out here, shoot him. And then there's a guy always in the distance there. Don't even wait until you can see him because the, the visibility is poor. Always just shoot straight for that doorway and right near the bottom there and you'll get him, okay? So mission accomplished. We retained all our health. We got 50 health and we got two health pickups right here, okay? Don't touch him. Don't touch him right now. All we want to do is collect all the ammo in this area. Don't go across this line right here, okay? Because you're going to set off the next area, okay? That's the trigger line to trigger two more enemies to come down the stairs in the next area, okay? So don't go across that line, right? All you want to do is collect all the ammo in this area and the armor here. This will help a little bit. It doesn't really matter because you're playing on easy. But, you know, everything to retain your health, okay? So we got all the ammo. You got, like, maybe about 150 uh, SMG bullets. You're going to park yourself right beside these two health pickups right here and do a save. Save the game. And that's it. You're set up for your overcharged kill run. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try to remain overcharged throughout this entire run. Alright, so let's grab these two here. Go out here. Three more here. One more here. In here. And let's make these kills. We got two overcharged kills. Okay, check it out. There we go. We're on our way. Quickly grab these two health here. Hit the elevator switch. Try to ding this explosive container here. Just ding it. Just, just a little bit. Because if you blow it completely right in front of you, you'll lose a lot of health. So don't do that. Okay. Go out here. Try to race down here as quickly as you can. And see if you can shoot one of these two guys. And you might get credit for that. Once you trigger that thing with set, grab this here. That help there. You can grab this armor here. It doesn't really matter, but do it anyways. And you know you can sprint in the wheelchair, eh? Skip this cutscene. <laughs> sprint down here. You're hunting me. Hit the trap switch. Blow this guy up here over here. I'm hunting you. So there you get credit for an overcharged kill and an environment kill. And then go quickly down here while you're still overcharged. Do a stealth kill on this guy. I just love it. <laughs> quickly grab these two health here. Kill this guy here. Spin around. That's gonna trigger those guys to come here. Oh boy. Wherever you are. You See that's why you want to do this on easy. You're good. Go racing in here. Still overcharged, but we got some more health here. One, two. Hit this guy up here. See these down. Pop up here. Hop off as quickly as you can. There's going to be two guys, two guys coming off to the left here. Get a death blade on them. Take them down nice and fast. Overcharge kills there. Grab some more health here. One, two. Go as quick as you hand, can this way. Try to sprint with the wheelchair. See if you can get this guy on his way down. Watch when you go on this thing. Eh? You can kill yourself. Eh? If you don't get completely on it, it'll squish you on the way up. Shoot this guy here. Overcharge kill there. Grab some ammo here. Two more health here. And so go racing down here. Try to hit th that explosive container and get explosive environment kill. Sorry, I'm running behind in my commentary here. Okay, I may have missed a couple of there, but no problem. We're still alive, still alive. Now, there's a lot of health in this area here. Come back here. Should be two here. And two here. I think there's one off to the... Uh, to the left there as well, but... Some health pickups, they're like, you know, they're so far out of the way, it's not worth it picking up. Get on the conveyor belt as quickly as possible. And even move while you're moving on the conveyor belt so that it moves along quicker. Get tipped over. 
Shoot this guy here. There's an overcharged kill there. Reload. Aim ex for this red tank right there. Aim right for that. And boom. Finish that guy off there. And this is where my overcharged kill run ends. And you see what I got there? 20 kills. That's typically what I get in this run. Ignore the pain. Find a way to reverse the belt and get up to the sail platform elevator. Now, how long did that take me? There we go. So we already got the first level of overcharge kill mastery, and our as a bonus for that, we have a slower deflate on health overcharge. Now, this is a little confusing here. I'll explain exactly how this bonus works here um, at the end. Um, but yeah, we got the first level. And how long did that take? So we could just rinse, repeat that. We also got a whole bunch of environment kills. But like I said, this is kind of like a byproduct of this run. All right. So now we can just re repeat the run. Just reload the save that you made right at the beginning of the run. Once again, the game will retain your perk progression. See, we still got it. And do the same thing again. And it usually takes me about 20, 25 minutes to completely max out overcharged kills. At that point, we'll have 100% um, slower deflate on health overcharge. I'll explain to you what it means right now. What it means is, um, say for example, you pick up two times 20 health, which overcharges your health to 90. Right? I, I did this. I ran some tests on this and I figured out exactly what it means. Um, it takes, what did I figure that out to? It takes 20 seconds for, uh, no, sorry. It takes 10 seconds for your health to deflate back down to 50 by default. When your health is, like when this is maxed out, it will take 20 seconds. So in effect, it doubles the time, the amount of time it takes for your health to deflate. So if you're thinking, if I have 100% slower deflate on health overcharge, shouldn't that mean that my health will not deflate at all? No, that's not the way it works, okay? I ran some ex extensive tests on it, and that's the way it works. It basically doubles the time that it takes for your health to overcharge, which is really, really helpful. And then another thing, the more you do this run, the easier it gets because you're gaining bonuses as you go along. I've already got my health slowing down deep like my health overcharge deflating 20 percent slower now so the next run i do is going to be easier the next run you do after that is going to be easier etc etc all right so see on the flip side when i've maxed out that particular perk boy yeah okay let's take a little look see here all done took a look take a look at our perks and here we go overcharge kill maxed out we now have 100 percent slower deflate on health overcharge how long have that take you like that took me 16 minutes okay a mere 60 minutes from where we left off last. Add on to that the initial the initial run, which took three and a half minutes and less less than twenty minutes to max out your overcharge skill perk. Alright? I'd like to see you do that on Alter Hard, and you're gonna see me do it on Alter Hard. You will. When I start my walkthrough, I'm gonna do the exact same run. Although I won't be doing any perk farming in my walkthrough, but I will start off the walkthrough doing the exact same overcharge kill run. You see it's doable on Alter Hard. In fact, I worked up this whole strategy um, on uh, Alter Hard, playing on I Am Death Incarnate. All right, so yeah, it's very doable. Um, next, let's um, set ourselves up for a stealth kill run. Okay, and I want to show you the byproducts of uh, also of this uh, overcharged kill run. We maxed out overcharged kills. As I was doing the run, uh, we got a lot of environment kills from uh, explosive containers. You know, those red red uh, propane tanks and whatever blowing up and the traps and whatnot so that gave us a lot of environment kills so like we're halfway there in with environment kills also there's this one guy i kept doing a stealth kill on over and over again so we got five stealth kills um also as the run progressed and i got more and more as my health was deflating slower and slower i could afford to take my time and i got a lot of headshot kills so yeah um like i said you can double up and triple up your perk building when you're doing these runs. Okay, let's set up a stealth kill run. I'll show you how to stealth set this up from this point here, from the beginning of the overcharged kill run. Let's just run through this game one more time. Not the whole thing, but like halfway through it. Like I said, you know, once you get um, more time on your hands, you can afford to take your time. 
do some headshot kills. On the way up here, like once again, just ding this container. Don't go full auto on it because it'll blow up right in your face and it'll take off a lot of your health, okay? Learn that the hard way. And we don't need to worry about overcharged kills since those are maxed. If I didn't point that out before, there's some health here, or not health, but armor. Skip the cutscene. Now let's get quickly up behind this guy here. Got that backwards, lady. Stop right here. Save the game. I hope I didn't bump into it. And here's your stealth kill run. That's one stealth kill. Two stealth kills. Spin on around here. Come down here. Wait right here. Don't go any further. Now you're looking for those two shadows there. There's one shadow there. See what my reticle is? Another shadow there. Wait for this shadow to move. When that shadow moves, that's your cue. Wait for it. Wait for it to move. There you go. Come around here. That's three stealth kills. And that's four stealth kills. Four very quick stealth kills. And all you have to do is just rinse and repeat. Load up your save. I love that one. I just that cracks me up every time. All right. So see on the flip side when I've maxed out those. But yeah. All right. I'm back and let's take a little look. See here. There we go. Stealth kills. Stealth takedowns rather, not cold kills. Stealth takedowns maxed out. I got a total of 50. And that's all that's required. And now, as a result, as a reward, we can move 50% faster while we're crouched. Unfortunately, I can't show you that right now because we're still in a wheelchair. And I worked my way down to the end of the original um, overcharged kill run, okay? So that's where we are now. Next, we're going to do a grenade kill run. Now, um, let's take a little look at some other... Um, on the way down, I carefully did some as many headshots as I could, so I got a few more headshot kills. And we got a few more environment kills also on the way down, so this is almost up to mastery level 4. We're going to max this out along with um, the grenade kill run here, okay? And the bonus for maxing out grenade kills is we can incre increase our grenade capacity from 3 to 8. The only catch is we have to get a whopping 100 and 25 grenade kills. Now believe me, you can do this um, in about 20 minutes. I'm not kidding. Oh yeah, by the way, how long did this stealth kill uh, run take me? It took me nine and a half minutes, okay? Literally nine and a half minutes to max out stealth takedowns. Let's set ourselves up for a grenade kill, kill run. Um, this is, that switch there is gonna reverse the conveyor belt. If you're at this point here where all these traps are still set, Post a comment and I'll show you an easy way to get out of that. Um, I'll make another video about that. Yeah, post a comment if you'd like to see me do a video about that, all right? Let's set ourselves up for a grenade kill run. Let's go out this way, double back this way, and this is where you can get the first grenades in the game. Hopefully you preserved your armor. Don't worry about overcharging your health. Here you go, two grenades right there. One, two. I might as well grab this armor on the way up here. Grab that armor there. Extra armor can't hurt. And let's continue through the game. What we're going to do is, like I said, that's the switch that you have to hit to, to reverse the conveyor belt. If everything went well for you, all you have to do is just go around and hit the switch and reverse the conveyor belt and get back on up again. If it didn't go well for you, um, you're going to have to work your way all the way around the long way around here and go around this way and come to the back end of the switch in order to get past the traps. But there's an easy way around that. Like I said, if you want to see the easy way around that, uh, post a comment. I'll show you a video on that, but we're gonna go the long way anyways because there's lots of enemies here that we can milk for some grenade kills, all right? First of all, let's set it up Let's take care of these guys with a few stealth kills just to set things up Okay, one stealth kill there. Go stealth kill this guy 
Okay, and go down here. Two more grenades right here. And stop. Save the game. And now you're set up for a grenade kill run. There's going to be a guy right there. He's going to come out. Huck a grenade down there. Quickly grab some more. And some more guys are going to come right there. That's where you're aiming for. You're going to come around. As soon as you see him, huck the grenade. There we go. Boy, yeah. And you can get some uh, environment kills. Still got one grenade. Throw it down there. Go racing down here. Blow this just to be safe. Go rushing over here. Grab two more grenades here. And running down as fast as you can here. And some guys way down there. Do a nice high lobbing shot. And that's the end of the grenade kill run. Rinse and repeat. And I'll see you on the flip side when this is done. Boy, yeah, back from the grenade kill run. And let's take a little look see here. Perks. And there we go. Grenade kills maxed out. We've mastered it. Okay, so now we have four perks maxed out. And how long did that take me? That took the longest. That took 24 minutes to do that. All right, but still, in under one hour, we've managed to max out four perks and we got all the bonuses associated with that. So we can now move 50% faster while crouched. We can carry up to eight grenades. Um, our health, overcharged health, will deflate 100% slower. And um, the bonus for environment kills, so I managed to max this out at the same time as doing the grenade kills run. That's just kind of like a byproduct. Um, will take 50% less damage from explosives, which really helps when you're playing on higher difficulty settings. Now I'm going to show you how to do a quick commander kill run, a heavy weapon kills run, and a hatchet kills run. I'm going to show you the most optimal place to uh, set up runs to do some perk farming for those three perks there. Okay, what are you going to do is you're going to continue through the game and you're going to finish off the wheelchair part and then you're going to watch the Caroline Becker cutscene and we'll tell you what happens there to avoid any spoilers and get to this point here where you got you acquired your power armor and you now have a new objective, reach the controller bay, alright? So go through here, power slam through the floor and as you can see, as we're crouched, we're moving a lot faster. Grab the hatchet. Can do with a hatchet and a Nazi. You see, we're moving a lot faster as we're crouched. Kill this guy. Up Caroline, the ladder. You copy. Before you go upstairs. Please watch over our people while I get this done. Make sure you grab the pistol and some more pistol ammo here. Now, if you um, did not do an overcharged kill run um, and you're working on overcharged kills, what you can do, okay, is grab some health here. Go through here quickly. Come up here, drop down, and you see I your first commander. Boot camp. Save the game right here. Take out the commanders first. There we go. Save the game. Stealth kill this commander, and now we can start working on quick commander kills. All right, we got one already. We're gonna need 25 to max it out. Now just wait right here. Don't forget to take the Enigma code because that's another perk you could work on. Here, Enigma codes. All commanders have Enigma codes. I'll explain about that in another uh, another video. Come over here, inch forward just a little bit, so you can like you're looking right. There's the other commander right there. Aim carefully with your pistol, headshot, and you got two commander kills. Very quickly. Those are the two quickest commander kills you can do in the entire game. All right. So, just reload.
Take out the commanders first. Rinse and repeat. Now, if you want to extend that, okay, right now we're only getting two quick commander kills and one enigma code in this run. If you want to extend this so you get two enigma codes, um, what you have to do is just hop over here and go quickly grab that other enigma code and then reload your game. Right? So I'll see you on the flip side when we've maxed out quick commander kills. But yeah, I'm back. All right, and this took all of five minutes. That's all it took. And here we go. We've maxed out quick commander kills, and we have the bonus that goes along with that: increased damage with suppressed weapons, 50% increased damage with any silenced weapon, any weapon with a silencer on, including um, the SMG. Okay. Once we start picking up weapon upgrades, we can put a silencer on the SMG. So yeah, that's a really valuable perk to have. Next, um, oh yeah, and in the process, because we're doing a lot of headshots on the second commander there, we got a lot more headshot kills. So we're halfway to maxing out headshot kills already, just as a byproduct of doing all these other perk runs. Now let's set up a heavy weapons perk run. Continue through the game until you reach this section here. You're in the armory and there's a commander here that you have to kill. And uh, you've already acquired the assault rifle, dual wield your assault rifles. Make sure that you go back. Hope you've been collecting some hatchets all the way along the way, okay? There's a hatchet here. This is going to help with the hatchet kill run, right? And our objective now is to reach the controller bay, all right? So we're going to do that. Let's load up the SMG to save on assault rifle ammo. You can also do some overcharged kills here if you haven't been working on that. Kill these guys here. Load up your assault rifle, dual wield. Hit this switch here. You skip the cutscene. Run back here. I released the Eva's hammer, and I'm heading back to our people. Run quickly over here, spin around, aim right at the back of this bot here, and you've got yourself two laser weapons. By the way, that strategy works on um, Ultra Hard too. what I just did there, right? So grab one of the laser weapons, and the way to continue, now we have a new objective, reach the hangar bay, so we can use the laser weapon. Open these boxes here, don't worry about that. This is the way to continue. You can recharge your laser here, or over here. Let's recharge this laser. Boom. Drop it, get another laser. This is a great little trick with laser weapons, okay? Recharge this laser here, it's already full. And now you're set up for another perk farming run, heavy weapons. So save the game. And you want to go after the, the the super soldier first. Kill that guy. Down he goes. And then just wipe it everybody out. As soon as you run out, go over to this laser here. Refill quickly. There you go. Don't even have to hit. The recharge station. And I find the best way to use the laser is to repeatedly. Just let me finish off here. Repeatedly charge it up like this, so they have like, you know, it's already charged up. So when you decide to fire it, it doesn't have to charge up already. I said that wrong. It doesn't have to charge up. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, and there you go. That's your heavy weapons kill run. Kill all these guys here. You're going to get lots of kills here. 
got lots of ammo, unlimited ammo. Once they're all dead, reload the game, rinse, repeat. And I'll see you on the flip side when I've done that. Oh yeah, okay, let's take a little look-see here. Perks, and here we go, we got heavy weapon kills maxed out. Now we could carry double ammo in all heavy weapons, including, including laser. So the laser, we can refill it up to 400 instead of 200, okay? And finally, let's do a heavy, not heavy, thrown hatchet kills run, right? This is one of the best perks to max out if you're going stealth, all right? This is extremely useful. And the bonus for this is we'll be able to carry eight hatchets instead of three, all right? And here we are right at the beginning of section F, okay? We've continued to work through the game. Uh, we finished off the other part and we've gotten to the escape hatch with Sigrin and whomever you decided to save, either Wyatt or Fergus, you've escaped, you've seen the little cutscene, then they've realized that there is a, a transmission being secretly transmitted from some secret part of the ship, and it's your job to go find that transmission and eliminate the source, all right? And you now have the objective, locate the transmission, and you're in section F, right? Right at the beginning of section F. This is a perfect place to do a thrown hatchet kill run. Okay, and I'll show you how to set this up go through here we've made a mistake on the floor plan section F just looks like a little laundry room we looked for it when we first searched the u-boat after you captured it but we didn't see the entrance door and with all the things we were worrying about back then I suppose we didn't bother looking too closely but now I've re-examined the floor plan and there's a reference to a completely different document. The engineering map of section F. I'll report back as soon as I find it. Okay, right here is the perfect spot to set up the hatchet kill run. So save the game. And away you go. Hopefully you've got at least three hatchets now. Hatchet kill this guy, that's one. Retrieve all your hatches, eh? That's two. Wait for this guy to come into view. That's three. Retrieve your hatchets. Go up the stairs. Now, if you're really good, you could do a long shot here. That's four. And one more guy should come around the corner here. That's five. You could even extend it. Here we go. That's six. You could even extend it further. As long as you've got hatchets. There's another hatchet there. Take it as long as you want. And when you run out, rinse and repeat. Same deal here. Rinse and repeat until you max it out. And this you're going to need 50 hatchet kills. And this goes very quickly. All right, so that is it. That's how to max out seven key perks before you even finish the first mission, okay? Uh, stealth takedowns, quick commander kill, hatchet kills, heavy weapons, overcharged, grenades, and environment kills, all right? So there you go. Well, I thank you all very much for watching, and if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, hey, you know what to do. Give the old slackster a big old thumbs up. Hey guys, because of the risque nature, <laughs> of Wolfenstein 2, um, it's going to be very difficult to fully monetize these videos. Um, I'm already working for less than minimum wage, taking the time and effort to produce real walkers, and with Wolfenstein 2, I'll be taking an even bigger hit. I'd appreciate it if you went on over to my Patreon page and made a small donation. You can donate as little as $1, and if you want to donate more, hey, that'd be great, all right? Thanks very much. Really appreciate it.